Well, it was certainly one of the stranger things we've seen at a racetrack in quite some time. One of the guide ropes for the cable camera for Fox Sports was over top of the racetrack and actually broke coming down onto the track and getting tangled up in some of the racetracks as we see on the back of Marcus Ambrose's car. For more, let's go to Bob Dillner. Well, JR, it was nearly a 30 minute delay to help remove some of those cables from the area around the racetrack. And then, of course, that 15 minute time on pit road for all the teams to make adjustments to their cars that were torn up a little bit in the entire incident. The cable camera sits high above the infield and the logo for the race here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway right now. And basically, NASCAR had an opportunity to do good or do bad. And in this case, most drivers say NASCAR got it right. Well, I commend NASCAR, first of all, on uh, taking action and giving us all a chance to repair our damaged cars from the, the issue that we had earlier in the race. So I uh, appreciate that. But from there, you know, just, uh, you know, I, I thought we were about a fourth, fifth place car tonight. And uh, we'd been running first, second, third much of the evening. But uh, just catastrophic engine failure. Uh, that was the first. But I really think NASCAR handled that situation right. Um, you know, damaged some cars and created some havoc. And they let us all, uh, you know, repair our stuff and, and get our cars back in order to put on a race while they picked up whatever went on with that cable system. So one of the weirdest things I've seen, but I think NASCAR handled that right. There were some crews with uh, 15 people around the car. There's no way an official could have possibly seen what they were working on. So I just thought that being a points race and being a 600, it should have been a little more controlled than that. But it was, um, that was nice that the guys got to, got to fix their damage because certainly no fault of their own. I was kind of happy it happened because I need to go to the restroom. <laughs> so it worked out good for me. Uh, <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, that was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Um, I, don't, I don't know how it happened or what happened, but there's a lot of cars tore up, including mine some, uh, about, about what happened there. So um, that's above my pay grade. It was like getting attacked by a giant squid. I mean, just it hit the windshield and hit the nose and then it started flapping. And I could see it on the windshield, you know, because it stayed there for a little while. And then uh, I could feel it on the back end of the car. I thought it, at first it was like tire cords, but then it just, you know, it stayed with me. And then there was more on the racetrack, and then we hit it again. I don't know. I mean, it was just chaos out there. Now, there were some injuries to some people revolving around this cable car. Uh, accident here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. In all, 10 people received injuries. Seven of them were treated and released. And as of midnight, we know that three were still taken to a local hospital and are being held for observation.